Hey guys, Jno Zero. How's everybody doing today? Uh, this is my uh, <clears throat> afternoon, early afternoon coffee break. And as you can see, the weather, man, what a wild, crazy weather ride. It was uh, uh, just yesterday morning uh, before dawn, it was almost minus 30, and today it's uh, uh, going to be in the low 50s. An 80 degree temperature swing. Man alive. Wild ride, y'all. That's just all it is. Um, uh, a couple of questions and a couple of things. I did make videos on how I built my, uh, the heat exchanger is what I call it. Uh, a lot of you have seen it. Uh, they're calling it the, uh, the outdoor fireplace. But uh, I did uh, make some videos. I'll put the first video uh, somewhere. I'll put a link to it. That way you guys can, uh, uh, those of you who didn't see me build it, can go and start watching if you would like to watch those videos and how I put that heat exchanger together. Because it's, uh, it's saved me a lot of money uh, with my utility costs in the winter. It works very well. It's very efficient. And uh, I think it only cost me like 85 or 90 bucks to put it all together to get it, all the, the material that I needed and to build it and get it up and going. And the only other thing it really takes is just a wood pile. So as long as you're willing to get out and get your wood pile going and, and you can, I mean, if you live in an area that permits it, I, I don't know if they would let you do it in the suburbs or cities or something like that, but out here, middle of nowhere, Appalachia, I ain't got nobody to tell me no. And even if they did, I'd just run them off my property anyway. <laughs> so, um, the bubble wrap, uh, the bubble wrap on the windows holy crap it is worked I am very impressed I'm very surprised on how well that bubble wrap uh, worked as a window insulator and uh, I really I feel really you know if you guys haven't seen the bubble wrap insulator I know you can go you could go to my channel and do a channel search for these uh, for these videos but I, I guess it's just as easy for me to point somewhere and and I uh, put a link to that bubble wrap insulator video here or wherever the hell it pops up at. Uh, and check out how we insulated the window with bubble wrap. Because it really works. It, uh, it, I, like I say, I'm very surprised with the amount of uh, cold that it keeps from coming in. So I, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, what else? I uh, got some little tomato, tomato sprouts and uh, coming up now in the hydro pot in the uh, the pantry there I'll be doing uh, I'll do some update videos on that and let you know uh, how it's going you know when I say when I say something like if I say I you know if I can do it you can do it I really mean that man I'm not nothing I'm just a dude and just like you and just like everybody else we're just people we're just dudes and if I can do it you can do it and I really believe that I believe one what one person can do another can do it may take a little bit of learning it may take a little bit of you know working out getting a little bit of better shape or some practice but, you know, whatever I do, anybody can do. So, that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm by no means nothing special. And, and uh, don't send me messages telling me that I'm special because I'm not. <laughs> if, you, if you happen to stumble across my channel from uh, another video that you just happen to come across, well, I would credit that to God and not me. Uh, he's the one who puts you... Uh, uh, looking to see ideas and that's all I do is I put out ideas and you can take my ideas and, and add your own touch to them and make them your own that's uh, that's what we're here for so, I think uh, I got this in the mail and I remember my buddy just in case uh, just in case told me he was going to send me uh, how did he word it a big bunch of Australian dickheads so I'm thinking that this is probably going to be because a couple of a couple of days ago he put out a video where he was all upset with his politicians, you know the whole uh, wankers thing that <laughs> uh, rant on, brother. But I, he said he was going to send me a whole bunch of Australian dickheads. So I think this is probably going to be a picture of the uh, picture of the Australian Parliament or something, or the the Prime Minister or something that's. Uh, I know what it is now. I forgot all about these. The matches. Oh yeah, it's the matches that he uh, he had that contest going where he was giving away these uh, these matchbooks, and uh, I won I won one of them. These are just uh, 
<laughs> uh, man, these are just regular strike matches. I think they're a collectible uh, of some sort. But yep, Australian dickheads. There you go. A big, a big bunch of Australian dickheads. Now I get it. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. Other than that, y'all, there's not been a whole lot going on keeping up after the fire. I hope everybody, you know, uh, made it through the uh, the cold weather spell. Uh, good. We got another one coming. Uh, there's going to be, you know, it's winter time. There's going to be cold snaps coming through. There'll be cold snaps coming through. It's what happens in the winter time. So uh, I will say what I have learned over the years is when I leave my water running, my water comes in at one end of the house, and I leave my water trickling in the very far bathroom as far as I can on the other end of the house. That way the entire water line has got a little bit of a water running through it. I leave my water running just a little dribble. Uh, you turn your water on and as soon as it forms a solid stream and not dripping, that's where I keep mine at. A lot of people leave it dripping. Some people may turn it open wide open. To me, even if you spend an extra four or five dollars on water that one night, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than spending a couple of hundred dollars trying to fix some frozen, busted water lines and the whole giant pain in the butt that that involves, especially in the winter time. So uh, that's what I do. Wherever my water line comes in, uh, as far away as I can get, uh, where I, like with, with, with our trailer here, I go all the way down to the other end to the kids' bathroom and I leave the water running there. That way, the entire line has got some water movement through there, and, uh, and that helps keep it from freezing up. At least ours didn't freeze, so, and, uh, yeah, I was happy with the way everything went during this cold snap. Um, nothing froze on us. We was able to keep ourselves warm. That was some really good practice. Uh, would that, is it something that I would want to do for an extremely long period of time? Hell no. It's a lot of work. Uh, it's a lot of work maintaining your fire to keep your house warm. At 30 below zero, it's hard to keep a fire going because the air going in there is so cold that, it, you know, it wants to... It, it cools everything down and it's just hard to keep everything hot and stoked and, and going but uh, that's the reason why I do like short spells like this a couple of days that gives me a chance to practice uh, honing you know, my, uh, my homestead survival skills if we would have lost our power uh, we wouldn't have had no choice but to do it and if it's not something that I'm up on then I wouldn't have been able to keep the fire going well then we'd have been in a bad spot so anyway y'all uh, I take these as opportunities. I don't take them as storms. I take them as opportunities to practice um, because you just never know one of these days the power goes off and it may not come back on for months, you know, depending on how bad there's, if there's a bad storm, a bad damage, an ice storm or a big thunderstorm that takes down a whole big section of the grid or some transformers. When the power goes off, it may not come back on for months. And uh, I want to be skilled enough and uh, ready enough to be able to tackle that and still continue to live and not just survive. I don't want to survive. Surviving sucks. Surviving is no fun. Uh, it may be fun to go out and do a survival camp a weekend, you know, eat uh, acorns and pine cones or whatever the hell for a weekend, but then you go and you buy a double cheeseburger on the way home. Surviving for months and months and months on end really blows. It really sucks and it's no fun and I don't want to do that. I want to continue to live the way that we live. That's why I practice cooking on fire and I practice canning and we got, you know, stuff uh, to, so we can do that. So anyway, I'm rambling. Just in case, thank you very much, man. <laughs> I like them. I'm going to set these aside and uh, never use them unless it's an extreme emergency. Everybody else? I uh, hope everybody is doing well. Uh, I think I've figured out the whole replying to comments thing now. I think it's going so far so good, and I'll try to do the best I can. So, all right, y'all. Have a great day. Oh, my guns. God bless me. In. Buzz, buzz, the end. <laughs>